hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as i'm sharing everyday great contents for you all right guys uh, in this video we will start our video series and the subject will be mvc structure working principles and mvc pipeline before starting the teaching you MVC structure, I would like to show you a picture from my previous playlist, which is called WebLogic. And I would like to remind a small information for you. Just imagine a user, a person, which we called a user, try to request a server using a client. And this request, um, we, we are sending this record using by domain www.sample.com.co.uk and with this re with this request be able to get a response from the server and the communication will be done with the HTTP protocols all right after this picture we going to um, I'm going to show you what's going to happen inside of the server and these points will be our reference point. All right, let's continue. All right, guys. This is the outside of the server, user, client, and these are our reference point. And this section is the server, which I type here, server insight. And this is representing our model view controller. All right, let's start trying to send a request to the server as you can see request from web page to server we sent our request for example we type www uh, for example um, argos.co.uk so we are sending a request to the server to bring us the main um, page of the website all right so we sent this request to the control server and this request taken by the controller and if there is a parameter the controller take the parameter as well what's gonna happen next controller which is the commander and the controller define which action method um, is needed then controller sent the request to the related action method so action method does the manipulation on the data right so the the, rela the relevant action method action method goes if it's needed goes the models and take the data from the model and bring it back to the controller so after manipulation controller returns the data to a view so the controller send the data to the view and view is the page which is seen by the user. Responsible for web page from server. And here we go. We send the request. The request sent to the controller. Controller um, define the which action method is going to manipulate the data. Job is done. And controller sent back the data to the user. This is how MVC is working, guys. I assume you understand this section. Let's continue. But before that, this is a kind of general explanation of how MVC is working. But this is normally a little bit detailed. For example, between the entrance of the server and the controller, there are some another thresholds or breakpoints and there there is another section um, around the controllers so we can um, touch the data flow now I'm going to explain what they are let's continue so this is another data flow once our request reach to the server as you can see, this is our request. This green arrow, the same 
with the the screen arrow right okay we send our request and server take the request and it is going to be catched by controller but before that we have a middleware section so if if um, we add some manual middleware our request go pass through with the middleware step by step we going to um, make another a big video for the middleware I'm just telling you what is the process alright so we catch the request before controller has it and we can add some extra logic here like catching exceptions or authentication alright then next middleware is routing so you can you can consider the routing is um, our request is mapping with the root that's all the routing done but it's a crucial action for example if you sending a request www something.com slash product slash get product and you enter an ID so uh, the routing define the controller which controller is going to be initialized for example in this example product controller will be initialized and get product action method will be initialized and we are going to send a 5 ID for action method parameter the routing define everything and the routing initialize the controller and action method then controller does the job that's how working our MVC basically actually I can say this is how MVC pipeline is working obviously around the controller we have filters so we can add filter and we can touch just before the controller after routing the request come through here let's continue okay when the green arrow when the request come here we can if we add a filter we can take this request just before it's reached the controller and we can manipulate it so how can it be so if just imagine we sent a 5 ID to the controller and we catch this 5 number here just before the controller and we check this data is it valid or not and if it's okay we continue to send it to controller if it's not we can throw an exception this is how filters can, is working guys then action method does its job send uh, it, it, it goes to the model get the data and send it to the uh, user using with result actually action method send the data to the view and as a result we are going to get a view result and we are going to get this view render to the user this is how we are using MVC pipeline alright guys um, I'm going to finish this lesson here I assume you understand how MVC is working what is the logic between um, not between inside the server and next lesson we will continue with let me have a look yes we next lesson we're going to create our first project and we're going to examine uh, the full run file structure and i'm gonna do some explanations and then we will continue our journey guys all right take care of yourself see you on next lesson bye bye